All right. Um, sorry, it took me a little while to get in here and get set up today. Um, we have today is about covering the last of chapter four, a little bit of chapter five, and talking about the final, right? So, first of all, um, there was an email from a student who pointed out to me that in the solutions for exam two, I forgot to include the page uh, for 10B. Who did that? Who sent me that? You sent that? Okay. Um, I put it out there this morning. So, um, and then what else? That was it. So, 10, uh, 10B is now out there in the solutions. Um, also, I think there was a request to do a couple of problems. So, I, I don't mind starting off by taking a look at some problems. Which, what, which one was it that you wanted me to look at? Number 15. Does any, can I borrow a book real quick just to see that? My, uh, thank you. It was in 4.5. Let me look and see how long this problem is first. Number 15. Oh, okay, and then what was the other one? 15 and what? 25. I like 25. How about 25? So I'll read it and I'll give you the book back and so you can see it. It says, everyone have 25 or someone have a book? Everyone have a book at their table so y'all can look at it? Yes? Lies? Do you mind sharing? Okay. All right. A Norman window has the shape of a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle. Thus, the diameter of the semicircle is equal to the width of the rectangle. Does everyone kind of understand what that would look like? Like this. Uh, sorry, page 239, number 25. Mm -hmm. So it's a rectangle with a semicircle on top. That's called a Norman window. If the perimeter of the window is 30 feet, so I'm going to just jot this down. The perimeter of the window is 30 feet. Find the dimensions of the window so that the greatest possible amount of light is admitted. So that's it. That's the question. Here, you want your book back? Now hang on to it. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is an optimization problem. And basically the steps are to try and come up with your objective function, right? What is it that you're trying to optimize? So what do we want to optimize? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Optimize the area of the window. Because the larger area, the larger the area, the more light will come through, right? So we want to optimize the area. So that means I need a formula for the area of this window. So that's right. We're going to need to somehow combine the formula for a circle with the formula for the area of a rectangle. So I'm going to come up here, uh, back up to my Norman window. I'm going to start to label some things. I don't know what the, I'll call, height of the window is, right? I don't know how high it is. No one tells me that in the problem. from the bottom to where the semicircle is, so the height of the rectangle. The width would be from here to here. I don't know those, do I? Now, but what I can say is that the area of the green, right? This green in here, that area would be what? H times W. So that area right here would be H times W. Now the area of the semicircle we can talk about. It's what? Pi R squared is the area of a circle, right? But it's half a circle, right? So how about half pi R squared 
However, we actually know something about R, don't we? It's half W. Isn't the radius half of W? Because W is the, the diameter of the circle, so half W is the radius. So using the fact that one half W, whoa, one half W equals R, what I can say here is that this formula would be one half pi times one half W squared. Now the, the reason for this, the reason why I'm trying to get it in terms of W is because I want as few variables as possible, don't I? Do y'all know what I mean by that or not? Okay, so this will be one half pi times one fourth W squared, which is one eighth pi W squared. The hell? Hmm. I don't remember ever trying express zip. Uh, okay, uh, so now let me go up and label this area up here in the yellow. It's one eighth pi w squared. So the area of my window now, I'm going to come back over here where I had the question mark, would be height times width, so hw, plus 1 eighth pi w squared. Now that is a legitimate um, objective equation, but I would like that to be in terms of one variable, right? so that I can use all the calculus and try and find the max min and all that stuff. So how am I going to eliminate one of those variables? Yeah, we're going to have to find a relationship between W and H using something I haven't used yet. What have I not used in this problem? That the perimeter has to be 30, right? So let's talk about perimeter. So this is what we called, remember what we called this? The constraint. the constraint on this problem is that my perimeter must be 30. But the perimeter, so if you were to, if you were to start at one point, let's say I'll, I'll do it in this purple highlight. If I start at that top kind of corner there and walk around this window, I would have to go H, then W, then H, and then across ha a half circle, right? Wouldn't I? So let's, let's add that up. It would be H plus W plus H again plus half of the circumference of the circle. I'm just going to use C. Is that all right for the circumference? But what is the circumference of a circle? But circumference is equal to 2 pi times the radius or pi times the diameter, right? right? 2 pi r is the circumference, but what is 2r? The diameter. So both formulas are valid. The reason why I'm using pi d is because don't I know what d is? The diameter is w, isn't it? So pi w. So c is actually pi w. So that means my constraint equation becomes 2h plus w plus 1 half pi w equals 30. Agree with that? Can we solve that equation for H or W? Can you get H by itself or W by itself on that equation? Yeah? Which one would you prefer to solve for? I think H is easier, right? 
You take those W's to the other side and then divide by 2. So why don't we do that? Let's solve this for H. Uh, 2H equals 30 minus W minus 1 half pi W. Divide by 2, H is 15 minus 1 half W minus 1 fourth pi W. So that's dividing every term by 2. And now I'll go back to my objective function. My objective function was area was equal to HW plus, what was it, 1 eighth pi W squared. Was that what it was? Yeah. And all I'm going to do now is replace H with 15 minus 1 half W minus 1 fourth pi W. So the area now should all be in terms of W. So I'm going to write A of W. H, which is 15 minus 1 half W minus 1 fourth pi W. All of that times W plus 1 eighth pi W squared. Distribute that W through. 15W minus 1 half W squared minus 1 fourth pi W squared plus 1 eighth pi W squared. You can collect some like terms together here, right? These two? I mean, in fact, you could actually put the, neg the negative 1 half w squared together with those. But let's just do those two. What, what would that turn out to be? What's 1 fourth pi w squared plus 1 eighth pi w squared? Negative 1 eighth, OK? So a of w equals 15w minus 1 half w squared minus 1 eighth pi w squared. And I'm pretty happy I'm pretty happy with that as being my like final function that I'm going to do calculus on. So what what do I need to consider now? What do I need to look at? What now? Domain. Domain. So what's my domain? Is there a restriction on which variable am I looking at? When I talk about domain, what variable am I looking at here? W, because that's the variable in the function, right? So is there a restriction on W? I'm going to go back up and take a look at my picture. What is the widest W can be? Can it be infinite? Can it be 50? Why not? Yeah, because the perimeter of the window has to be 30, right? The perimeter has to be 30. So there's no way you could let it be 50. Right, because then one side of your window is longer than you're allowed to have the total window be. So there is a maximum, isn't there? And is there a minimum? Is there a smallest value that W can be? Zero. Zero, right? Zero. So... I, I agree that zero is the max, I mean the minimum value it can be, so it's going to look like our domain will be something like, okay, zero must be less than or equal to W, less than or equal to, here's the question though, what's the biggest it can be? Well, we have to be careful because if we say 30, 
then isn't the top part of the circle 1 8 pi w squared? Yeah, so what we really need to find the domain is this. We would have to say that this part on top, the blue part on top, and this blue part on the bottom together would be 30. And then let h be 0. So I would have to solve this equation. I want w plus 1 8 pi w squared to be equal to 30. 